So an old friend of mine dropped off one of these steam cleaning units yesterday. It's a Karcher SC3 and he complained that it was brand new and it wasn't putting out any steam. Well the first thing I did was plug the unit in and I noticed when I plugged it in the light came on here and it got fairly warm when I put my hand up here. And I thought, well, you know, what, what would cause it to get warm but not to put any steam? And my first thought was, oh, maybe it's the little handpiece. Maybe there's an electrical switch in here that when you press this trigger, it's not actuating a solenoid valve to open up or however that works. Took this thing apart. Turned out there was no electrical switch in here. This is purely a mechanical device. So if you've got one of these, no point in taking this apart. Anyway, I went and tore it down further. And... Uh, what I noticed when I tore it down was that it had a, a heating unit right here on top where water had to come in from this tank here. And as I looked the tank over, I noticed that there was no water coming out of this hose here. Even though the tank was full, there was no water coming out and going into here. And I uh, began looking it over and uh, I noticed that it had a solenoid valve here. It's a valve that allows water to go through. And I thought, well, it's possibly that's not getting a signal to turn it on, or allow water to go through into the heating unit, or maybe the, the valve itself has gone bad. So as I looked it over carefully, I noticed it said it operated on uh, 120 volts. It looks like 127 volts, actually. It shows a sine wave on there. I thought, well, I'm gonna try hooking it directly to 120 AC and see what happens. Well, guess what? That was it. Um, when I hooked it directly, it started working. So then I had to figure out, well, what would cause it not to come on? Why is it not getting a signal? If I'm able to energize this with my own AC cord, why isn't it getting a signal from here? So as I traced things out, I found out it had a, uh, a microprocessor underneath the circuit board here and a couple relays. And for some reason, it wasn't getting a uh, signal from that. And I kept looking things over, wondering if something else was wrong. I'm looking at this switch here. This is a pressure actuated switch here. I think it was normally on. And I, I just couldn't find that what would maybe cause this thing not to, not to get an electrical signal. And I thought, well, I hate to have to go get one of these microprocessor boards if you can even get one. And so, as I began looking things over quite carefully, I noticed that this connector here wasn't put on correctly. Actually, it was not that it wasn't put on correctly. It was crushing It was crushing one of the connectors. Let me see if I can explain what was happening. If we consider this the switch, you can see the contact points that would have to make contact with the arrows there, for example, if you were to push the board into here. Anyway, what had happened is one of them got crushed, so it wasn't making good firm contact. So I guess their quality control failed to catch it. Anyway, I took the board out, put the connector back on. I thought about soldering the wires permanent, but it looks like I've got a pretty good connection there now. And uh, it's working good. Anyway, I don't imagine this problem's gonna happen all the time, probably kind of a rare thing, but in this case, it got it going. So if you happen to have one of these, at least maybe you understand a little bit better how it works now. Heating unit, solenoid, and a pressure switch. In fact, this is actuated by the steam coming out here. Anyway, there you have it. As always, I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.